lesson, we talked about the chromatic scale, and we said that you should memorize the chromatic scale up and down. Now we're going to talk about half steps and whole steps. Any single move in the chromatic scale is considered a half step. So from G to G sharp would be a half step. We could also say from G to A flat because these are the same thing. They're enharmonic equivalents. From E to F is a natural half step. It appears on the piano keyboard with no black key in the middle. From C to B or B to C is also a natural half step. So always between B and C and E and F, you won't have a black key, so that's gonna be a half step. So any one note to the very next note is a half step. From C to C sharp or D flat is a half step. D uh, flat to D or C sharp to D is a half step. Any time you move one time on the chromatic scale, either up or down, that's a half step. And when we talk about whole steps, double it, you move two times. So if I'm on C and I move to D, that's a whole step. There's one key in between these. So one and two is a whole step from D to E is also a whole step. From E up to F sharp would be a whole step. It's a different shape on the piano under your hand. And then from E flat up to F would be a whole step. So two half steps make a whole step. From G to A, whole step, I went one, two. From A flat down to G flat, one, two, whole step. From A flat down to G, half step. From C to B flat, whole step. From A sharp to C, it's a whole step. So knowing the difference between your halves and whole steps, this is what we create scales with. Our major scales have a certain pattern, our minor scales have a certain pattern, our whole tone scale is all whole tones, and our chromatic scale is all half steps. Thank you.